In an effort to secure sponsorship, I have created several advertisements for various possible brand partnerships. Will Sasso, you will now read these advertisements in the astonishing voice of Jesse Ventura. This is Jesse Ventura Ad Reads. Begin. All right. Uh, this is a fun thing. Yeah. Uh, dude, he has this here in our folder. I remember the last one was... Uh, no I, pink. Yeah, he Ventura was going to some no pink territory. Yeah, no pink, which is... What was it? It was a color of pink paint that when you uh, use it as uh, as you paint something, it becomes invisible. Yeah. That was yeah. what it was. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Are you tired of drinking colas that aren't infused with nitrogen? <laughs> <laughs> then get no. ready for Nitro Pepsi, the first ever nitrogen infused cola. It's more than just a cola, it's an experience. The nitrogen infusion creates a mesmerizing cascade of microscopic bubbles that give Nitro Pepsi an easy texture and silky, frothy head of foam while still delivering that unapologetically Pepsi flavor. <laughs> okay. And it's made possible by a unique technology at the bottom of every can that assures you get a smooth and creamy experience from the first sip to the last. Well, let me tell you about a unique technology. Oh, God. In 1991, the Department of Defense paid Sinead O'Connor $12 million to collaborate on a PSYOPs project codenamed Beast Note. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Gee whiz. <laughs> they were attempting to record a specific musical note not found in the standard human range. They believe that any animal who heard this note would become susceptible to mind control, effectively turning that animal into a subhuman assassin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so when you're enjoying the first smooth taste of Nitro Pepsi tonight at your local karaoke bar, <laughs> ask yourself if it's worth dying for. <laughs> Holy shit. Is Nitro Pepsi a real product? I don't know. Nitro Pepsi? I don't either. I I mean that nitrogen. I think that's how they do like uh, Guinness. How they keep it in a can so that it still has like that frothy head. I think that is what they do to it. I thought they just put a little ping pong ball in there. You ever see that ping pong ball in a can of Guinness? No. Rip open a can of Guinness. There's a little ping pong ball in there. Huh. There's a little ping pong ball in there. <laughs> or or and and. Right now, Market Pantry brand hardwood smoked bacon. <laughs> is on sale at Target for $4.89 a pound. Uh -huh. Start your day with savory, a savory favorite when you cook up 16 sizzling ounces of hardwood smoked bacon from Market Pantry. <laughs> this perfectly cured and hand-selected bacon is naturally hardwood smoked for a rich smoky flavor that's perfect for breakfast sandwiches, BLTs, salads, and steak wraps. Whether you're frying it alongside a couple of eggs or putting it on a cheeseburger, hardwood smoked bacon from Market Pantry brand will have you convinced that it's the best hardwood smoked bacon <laughs> brand on the market or in your pantry. Well, let me tell you about bacon. The first experiments in Project Beast... <laughs> 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 the first experiments in Project Beast Note were done on a 642 pound prize winning forest hog named Stromboli. <laughs> <laughs> they would play a recording of Senado they would play they would play a recording of Senado Connor singing the Beast Note every morning as Stromboli ate his slop. Within two weeks, the scientists running the operation were able to teach Stromboli how to fire a modified MP5 submachine gun with his mouth. So as you watch your children choking down thick slabs of Market Pantry brand hardwood smoked bacon with their pancakes, pray to God that the colon cancer kills them before the Stromboli does. 
Stromboli. So there's, okay. Okay. What the Jesus fuck? Christ. Project Beast Note. Yeah. Stromboli right. the forest hog. Here's another one. Mm. Whether you're plant curious or plant committed, Hormel has you covered with their new plant-based chili with beans. <laughs> yes. America's number one selling chili brand is innovating the chili game once again with canned chili that will delight plant lovers and traditional chili enthusiasts alike. Packed with 22 grams of plant po protein per can, Hormel-based chili with beans is dairy-free, egg-free, gluten-free, and BPA-free. Stock up on Hormel plant-based chili <laughs> with beans for as little as $2.60 a can at your local supermarket or on Amazon. <laughs> chili, the perfect snack during hot yoga. <laughs> chili, there's a reason it's served at Catholic Mass. Chili, Mozart composed his first, first concerto at six years old. <laughs> Chili, it's 345 somewhere. <coughs> Chili, your grandmother asked to be buried in a casket full of it. Don't disrespect her memory. <laughs> well, let me tell you about oh Chile. Chile. In 1991, Jamie Guzman, an advisor to the right-wing dictator <laughs> of Chile, Augusto Pinochet was assassinated. The job was credited to far-left paramilitary group trying to restore democracy to the country. The story made perfect sense except for one thing. The angle of the bullets that struck Guzman were too low for the weapon to have been fired by a human being. And the bullets themselves didn't come from the standard issue AK-47 which was the weapon of choice for freedom fighters. Uh -huh. The bullets came from a modified MP5 submachine gun. The trigger man was Stromboli. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're wiping Hormel plant-based chili uh -huh. out of your baby's eyes before bedtime, why don't you tell me, why don't you tell me a better way to assassinate a high-ranking official of the uh, authoritarian dictatorship in the early 1990s? <laughs> Holy fuck. I don't know if Hormel is going to be on board with this ad campaign. Oh, fuck. Christ. Ouch. All right. Okay. Whew. How about a 10-night stay in a five-star hotel in the Turkish countryside? <laughs> complete with the expert guided excursions to surrounding tourist destinations for $1,299 sound. <laughs> what about $549 for a balcony cabin on a week-long Caribbean cruise through Mexico, Belize, and Honduras? How about $1,199 <laughs> to exp... <laughs> Why is he throwing these I don't know. prices? To explore ancient <laughs> Egypt for the entire week, including a luxury cruise down the Nile River. Travel Zoo compares prices over from over 2,000 websites to make sure you're getting the best deals on your vacation. So if you're looking to save money on a trip that you'll remember for the rest of your life, Travel Zoo has you covered. Right. Well, let me tell you about an unforgettable oh, trip. God. After Stromboli completed his first assassination, <laughs> the brass at the DOD started to get scared that Beast Note might fall into the wrong hands. So they flew Stromboli back to America on a cargo jet. They met him at the airport and, and euthanized him to minimize the risk of anyone finding out about the program. Oh, God, and the only known recording of Sinead O'Connor singing the Beast Note was supposedly erased to prevent terrorist groups from using it to control an army of animals to march on various world capitals. So why don't you tell me how much you enjoyed your last vacation, knowing that at any moment an orangutan could knock your door in and deliver a lethal dose of cyanide via a blow dart gun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what was that even questions. for? Was that... And that was for travel, travel zoo. zoo. I, I have <clears throat> only these couple of questions. Here. I have nothing but answers. They killed Stromboli. 
Yeah, they euthanized Stromboli. That's bullshit. Number two, that plot is is a G.I. Joe cartoon plot. It where is. Cobra has a, a ray that like can control animals and they march them on all the world capitals and hold people hostage. Yeah. And that came from real. It's not from G.I. Joe. Yeah. It's from uh, the DOD. Yeah. Maybe somebody who wrote on G.I. Joe was, worked in the DOD. The Winter Collection sales event is underway at <laughs> Lexus of Dayton. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Lexus ESH class. The Lexus NX... <clears throat> F Sport, the Lexus GX, and the Lexus RX class are all priced to move <laughs> with low 5.49% APR financing available for up to 72 months on all 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. <laughs> And 2022 <laughs> L certified models. Okay. But these deals won't last forever. The Dayton Lexus Winter Collection sales event <laughs> ends February 28th. So stop in and see what it feels like to sit behind the wheel of a brand new Lexus. Huh. Lexus, very similar to Toyota. <laughs> Lexus, Toyota. Lexus. The main difference from Toyota is the name Lexus. <laughs> Lexus. They give you free donuts in the waiting room. Or is that Toyota? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something about Lexus. Years passed after the beast note. Oh, oh my fuck. God. Let me tell you something about Lexus. <sighs> Years passed after the Beast Note project was officially shut down and most of the people involved thought they were safe. But in 2018, the lead Beast Note scientist, <laughs> Dr. Paul Detmer, <laughs> died at the Kentucky, at Kentucky State Fair from a rare form of botulism after eating a turkey leg. No other patrons of the state fair contracted this lethal botulism, but the paramedics who transported his body to the morgue claimed that they left the fairgrounds, that when they, as they left the fairgrounds, they saw a pig driving a Lexus <laughs> and the license plate read Strom. <laughs> now what? Now, why don't you tell me what model of Lexus you'd like to be driving when you get assassinated by the creature you experimented on two decades ago? Uh, she uh, whiz. So, uh. <laughs> Stromboli was still alive, and he got a Lexus, and he also got a personalized license plate that read Strom. Red Strom, yes. Fucking Stromboli, dude. God damn. Uh. What a badass. Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe uh, maybe any of these brands would be happy to have these. That would be good. Ad campaigns. Well, you'd certainly pay attention. Really. Thank you. Date Moving Novo. Well, and it's been a while since we've done some Jesse yeah. Ventura ad reads. I agree. Uh, that that uh, we yeah we uh, we uh, oh hey did you see did you see this before we get into it did you see the the uh, that that UFO hearings uh, did I tell you about this, this? Week in what? front of Congress that huh. The UFO hearings this week in Congress. Chad, no one gives a fuck about that. Um, uh, you know, Jesse Ventura yeah, tweeted about, uh, well, Chris Van Vliet of Insight with Chris Van Vliet, uh -huh. a pod show that I, that I was on a little while ago, Canada's own Chris Van Vliet, who's a, a host, a radio personality. He does a lot of interviews with wrestlers. And he's a great broadcaster. Mm -hmm. And the, the, uh, the great Karrion Cross, the professional wrestler, okay. Killer Cross. He did, uh, he does a great Jesse Ventura. Oh. Anyway, we'll talk about it in Dudesy After Dudesy or something like that. Uh, I, you know, I was doing it on Chris's show. Chris was working out with Karrion Cross. Uh, he was a WWE wrestler, and Karrion Cross does this thing. And then Jesse Ventura tweeted about it. Don't worry about it. We don't. Anyway, let's do it. Let's jump into okay. this. Let's right. jump into this. Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right. Jesse Ventura ad reads. Bogo beef days are back. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Bogo beef days are back at Arby's. Oh God. For the rest of the month, when you buy an Arby's beef sandwich, you get another one free. 
including the deluxe Wagyu Steakhouse Burger and the Bacon Ranch Wagyu Southwest (laughs) Burger and the Chicken Bacon Wagyu Ranch Fully Loaded Chop House Angus Certified Taco (laughs) Salad Combo Platter Trio. (laughs) Those those are not real things. Uh, Well, let me tell you... uh, (laughs) Well, let me tell you about a trio. In 1986, three scientists working for one of the DOD's top super secret soldier programs brought John Bon Jovi back from the dead after... (laughs) After he slipped coming off stage at a concert in Gibbsboro, New Jersey and broke his neck, dying instantly... (laughs) Mercury Records couldn't let their biggest source of revenue dry up, so they paid the DOD $30 million in exchange for one syringe full of an experimental hyperhealing serum that they injected directly into John Bon Jovi's aorta to reanimate him after he was clinically dead for 27 hours. So try to enjoy your bogo beef and cheddar instead of realizing the reason Bon Jovi's music got significantly worse after Slippery When Wet was probably because John Bon Jovi had joined the ranks of the living dead. (laughs) Moving on. This is another Arby's one. So it looks like all the ad reads are probably... Arby's is proud to introduce our brand new Curly Conscience Fries. They have the same zesty Arby's Curly Fry flavor, but with half the fat. They're air fried and simplified. Curly Conscience Fries are made with just two essential ingredients. Potatoes, vegetable oil, enriched bleached flour, niacin, reduced (laughs) iron, Thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, (laughs) folic acid, salt, cornstarch, onion powder, (laughs) yellow cornmeal, spices, garlic powder, sodium bicarbonate, modified cornstarch, dextrose, dried tortilla yeast, xanthan gum, xanthan gum, and sodium acid pyrophosphorate. Curly Conscience Fries feel good about feel good about your food again. Curly Conscience Fries, they don't change your odds of getting cancer one way or another. <laughs> Curly Conscience Fried, rated number one dorm room snack after a drug binge. <laughs> Curly Conscience Fried Fries, yes, your children are doing drugs at college. <laughs> Curly Conscience Fries, say goodbye to shitting. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something about constipation. (laughs) When John Bon Jovi was brought back from the dead, he was unable to have a bowel movement for 36 days. But when he finally evacuated his bowels, the fecal matter he expelled was filled with high concentrations of a less potent version of the super healing serum. He began having dinner parties for his celebrity friends and offering them portions of his feces for dessert. Believing it could cure their ailments. Bette Midler, Raleigh, Molly Ringwald, Emilio Estevez, <laughs> Tip O'Neill, and Kelly McGillis were all regular were all regularly eating John Bon Jovi's shit. <laughs> We're all regularly eating John Bon Jovi's shit in 1986 and all miraculously overcame life-threatening illnesses that same year. So why don't you tell me how a healthy dose of those air-fried curly fries sound now that you know eating four grams of Bon Jovi's feces can cure Alzheimer's? Oh, my God. Does eating make you even hungrier? If Arby's BOGO beef days can tame the beef beast, then why not try Arby's new BOGO whole meal to go? (laughs) (laughs) For the rest of the month, anytime you double up your beef sandwich order with Arby's BOGO beef days, you'll have the option to upgrade 
Tobogo whole meal to go, allowing you to double the, the double, giving you... Uh, Allowing you to double the double, giving you quadruple your original order of beef sandwiches for half off what you paid for the first first beef sandwich. Think you know BOGO? You don't know Arby's BOGO whole meal to go. Arby's BOGO whole meal to go. This ain't your CFO's BOGO. BOGO as in BOGO whole meal to go does. Bogo, Bogo, Bogo. Don't sleep on this promo. Bono's Bogo. Well, let me tell you something about Sonny Bono. With access to the celebrity music community, he began attending John Bon Jovi's healing feces dinners until the false pretenses of having several well-known sex- sexually transmitted illnesses. Okay. <laughs> He found ways to take some of the feces home where he experimented by mixing it with various drugs to see if he produced the best high. It turned out to be heroin. He called his new wonder drug Bonjo and began selling it out of the trunk of his car on the Lower West Side. Within two months, every kid in America was hooked on Bonjo and Bono was the richest man in the world. So why don't you tell me about having your favorite BOGO offer, knowing that Sonny Bono inadvertently gave the CIA Mm. the blueprints for how to use crack cocaine to control the population. (laughs) Oh, whoa. All right. I didn't realize. Arby's Froyo BOGO days are back. (laughs) For the rest of this month, anytime you buy a miniature football helmet... Of your favorite Froyo flavor, you get a second miniature football helmet of your favorite Froyo flavor for free. And you can add Arby's Froyo to any BOGO whole meal to go. If you qualify with a previous Arby's Froyo BOGO purchase. BOGOs, not just for beef anymore. Froyo just joined the BOGO neighborhood. The BOGO boys are back in town. Choose from Arby's five delicious Froyo flavors, apple cider tart, blue cotton candy, strawberry pecan pie, chocolate, and red velvet cheesecake. Well, let me tell you something about cheesecake. Bon Jovi found found out about Bono's Bonjo operation and stopped inviting him to his healing feces dinners. So Bono took the rest of his Bonjo, Bonjo... And opened up an upscale family restaurant that specialized in desserts, all made with a little dash of bonjo. That restaurant was the Cheesecake Factory. So why don't you tell me about what kind of froyo you're going to get? At present, over 150 million Americans have now inadvertently eaten microscopic amounts of John Bon Jovi's shit because Bono and Bonjo... Because of Bono's Bonjo business in the late 80s. For fuck's sake. Jesus. Fucking Christ. You want me to read this last one? Uh, Of course, dude. You just missed Arby's Bogo Beef Days and Arby's Froyo Bogo Days. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy Arby's new Jalapeno Bogo Days. (laughs) For the rest of the month, anytime you buy any of Arby's jalapeno sandwiches or meals, you get another one for free. And the second one will have quadruple the amount of jalapenos. So you better really like jalapenos if you want to participate in Arby's jalapeno bogo days event. Jalapeno roast beef, jalapeno buffalo chicken sliders, jalapeno mozzarella sticks, jalapeno Dr. Pepper pop. Well, let me tell you. I lost my place. Well, let me tell you about John Bon Jovi. Well, let me tell you about a doctor. 
John Bon Jovi's proctologist oh, accidentally Jesus. ingested a cup of his diarrhea when he mistook it for a glass of freshly brewed iced tea in 1994. The good doctor fell ill almost immediately, proving that Bon Jovi's feces had lost their magical healing properties mm. once and for all. But every once in a while, when Bette Midler still goes to his house to eat his shit, just in case. But every once in a while, Bette Midler still goes to his house to eat his shit. Uh, so why don't you tell me about how many jalapenos you like on your pizza, knowing that the star of Beaches has been eating John Bon Jovi's shit for the past 45 years, even though it no longer has any special properties. Arby's. <laughs> We have the meats, and the CIA has video footage of <laughs> Bette Midler drinking liquid shit directly from John Bon Jovi's asshole at least twice, both times on Christmas. God. Fuck! <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. Thank you. Moving on. Fucking Christ almighty. I don't even know. Bogu. <laughs> I don't even know, man. I don't even know what to say to that. Please tell a friend then rate and review. Please do like to see here's what you do. Please tell a friend then rate and review. If you like to see here's what you do. Please tell a friend then.